What up dudes? Chooch back with another one. And today we'll be looking at this right here. This is the Visit 10 Plus. Electric scooters are sick now. I've been wanting one for a while with bark busters and off-road tires. But that's gonna be the eventual build on this thing. Let's open it up and check it out. Beautiful looking box. Let's get this thing open. smells fresh. Oh, they put the off-road tires in here, dude. Okay, off-road tires. It's gonna have bark busters on it, bro. And this thing's gonna be so sick for like trail riding. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a new thing, dude. Like this is gonna be straight up sick. Rev Rides always hooks it up, dude. Nathan, shout out, bro. Thank you so much. Guys, if you wanna pick up any e-scooter, uh, a discount on any ride from Rev Rides, code CHOOCH50. Use code CHOOCH50, it helps me out and it helps you out on any ride, EUCs or e-scooters. This is an accessory that uh, Rev Ride sells. This is just a case to mount on the front right here. Just put on some accessories and stuff like that for your for your rides. Put a water bottle in there, put some tools in there. Dude, sick, got some off-road tires. All right, so this thing comes packed really well. You see these chunky styrofoam blocks in here, guys. Like, I think most likely they figured out a good way to pack these scooters guys after doing it a while and this just seems to work i i mean i picked this up and it was every which direction bringing it up here tumbled around and everything in here looks fine so i'm going to pull this up like this all right i'm just going to go ahead and pull some of the accessories out of here guys all right so this is your charger one thing i have noticed um or uh, I have done some research on this scooter and the chargers on these are just nowhere near as fast as your typical electric unicycle chargers. So you can just see like this, this looks like one of the old M Super V3S chargers if you're into the electric unicycles. Um, I think um, there should be a rapid charger option or something for these scooters available. If not, I don't know why there wouldn't be. There is two charge ports on this, so you might be able to use two chargers. I think you can use two chargers and, and get that up, and uh, that's the way you can rapid charge it. Check it out. So it comes with a toolkit as well right here. Sick, dudes. It actually looks substantial. Nice little uh, valve right there. You got this little tool. I remember they were uh, giving these away at one of the races out there. This tool has all kind of stuff in it, all your Allen keys and just everything you need for an e-scooter. Because with an e-scooter, you got more components than the EUC. Bolts, so all your bolts just have some slide caps on it so you don't damage your bolts upon crashing. This thing is big, bro. Oh, my goodness. Well, this thing's like a legit, like a miniature motorcycle, bro. This is wild. This is, this is gnarly, dude. Holy cow. What, bro? <laughs> this is not a scooter, dude. I had like, I knew these were big, bro. Like, this looks legit, dude. This looks legit, bro. Oh my God, this is sick. This is fire, bro. This is fire, bro. Hello. Holy crap. Oh, goodness. I'm about to knock over the bed, I'm sure. Trying to get it out of here. Come on, big girl. She thick, she thick, dog. She stuck and she thick. Oh lord, she thick. Oh shit. Ah. Yo. What the? F All right. Is it gonna come out of the box, or am I about to do a magic trick to get it out of here? All right, I got it out of the box, bro. The thing about it beat me up trying to get it out in this little space. About took out, about knocked over the veteran Sherman. About took out my head. But I got it out of the box, bro. Holy, cr this is nuts, dude. That is not a scooter. This is legit insane. That is so cool, dude.
Holy cow. Dude, this is, this is the build quality on this, dude, is way better than I ever expected. Guys, I, I thought these scooters were gonna be crud, bro. This is insanely nice. Oh, so you flip this down like this. I got a lot to learn, dude. I got a lot to learn here. I'm glad I could learn. Glad I... All right, how you do this? What is this right here? How does this go? Oh no, wait. Okay, that clamps down like that. Let's, let's use common sense. Let's use it. Oh, okay. Okay. She's looking good. She's looking good. Does this go in this way? And look, it doesn't, dude. What? It literally has no, it's like solid, it's legit, dude. It's no, there's no, I'm shaking it hard. This is my biggest thing. I knew there'd be some sort of play in here, guys. So like a point like wanting to throw a wheelie or hit a jump or something, I thought there would at least be some sort of shaking going on with a scooter like this, and it's not. So the possibilities, bro, are there. Like literally, it's gonna be able to do what I wanna do with this thing. And it's gonna be fun, bro. This is gonna be so sick. I just, it looks really good. The scooter looks damn good. These guys, so these are what these are. You'd probably be like, all right, they give me some air fresheners on here? These like some, some little trees? What's going on here? No, this, so you take this off. Hello. So these are your keys, guys. I'm not sure exactly how they work yet, but here's the, here they are. I know these are the keys, and they give you three of them, and they're like unique little chips, which is pretty dang cool. All right, so guys, right up here, I went up here and I loosened all of this up so I could just kind of change it up. And this, these are just your switches to change it from which mode you want. So it's not really important to have this over there. You can push this all the way in over here. And then this allows you to get to your uh, brake lever. And it's a stand up about where you're gonna be riding at. And just feel what feels comfortable for grabbing your brakes, guys. And like, I like them like about like that. Like it downward a little bit. Um, the whole upward thing like that, I mean, that's just, I don't know. That just feels weird, man. That's not, that's not right. So put it down like this. And you can just get it into place like that. Oh, dude. Oh, man, those brakes are ridiculously nice, dude. Button up here at the top. So that all, there's three buttons over here. It's the one that's like pointing up and up and to the left. So push it like that. And you just take these, I mean, you can throw these on your keychain or whatever. It comes with three of them. Hopefully I didn't lose them already. And you just, once you press the button right there, it says card. Scan this, touch it on there, dude. Bro, we're in the future. We're, we, we've made it, we've made it, guys. Pat yourself on the back, we're here. Okay. All right, I'm a, I don't wanna press the button because is it gonna, is it gonna, gonna go through the wall? Is everything okay? Is it in first gear? Or is, I don't want to go through the wall or something, dude. This is it supposed to be in? From the factory, it comes with a setting to where you have to push start it. So you're literally gonna be sitting in your house wondering for a minute, all right, why isn't the throttle working? From the factory, it comes with a setting on where you gotta kick start and then it engages where you can push the throttle. If you wanna change that and you just want to be able to just gonna hit the power button and just immediately go without having to kick push it. All you gotta do is come up here to this little screen, guys. It's really complicated, but it's not. All you gotta do is just push down with the plus and minus at the same time, and then it's gonna say P on it, and then like 12. Actually, P9 is your zero start on here. So literally double press at the same time, the plus and minus, scroll in here to P9, so you're gonna scroll through to nine over here and then you're gonna press on here. Basically, you can select one or two. And so you're gonna to wanna to turn it to zero or you're, you can select zero or one and then just select it to zero right here. And then that makes it to where you can just press the uh, gas and it immediately goes. And then that's how you do all the little settings in here. You literally just 
hold both these buttons down and then scroll through with the power button and then you can select what you want to change. That's cool. And then if you come over here, okay, this right here engages your dual drive motor. EDM over here, this right here just changes to dual drive motor. See how, see how both of them are, both of them are going? And then if I, if I turn this off, just the rear, just the rear motor works. Then we got dual drive functionality. Man, you can feel the wind coming off of those wheels all the way up here. That's crazy. That's so sick. And so, test our brakes. Turn your headlight on hold down the plus button and it'll come on in a few seconds that's your headlight that's awesome I like it sweet dude and I hold it down again and it cut off so sick dude thing is awesome dude that is so fire it up on the styrofoam block it comes with to get the wheels off the ground so it's not gonna take off to the wall so you can get everything situated kind of understand how the throttle works you know the sensitivity of the throttle etc get everything adjusted the way you want it so way I have the handlebars adjusted right there I wanted that flat with my brakes facing downward like that that's the way I typically like them but the stem is extremely solid on it man like all the wires are just wrapped up really good on this thing everything is extremely quality guys like literally everything is like it's just just nice everything on it is nice like the suspension look at the suspension in there on this thing sick I love the way the, the whole the rear assembly looks on this thing it just looked like the kicktail this looks good. The suspension on the back looks so good. Swing on. Tires I'm about to put on this thing so you can see what those look like. Got the stock tires and the off-road tires right there. That's the difference. Man, dude, that thing is going to be sick with those off-road tires. All it needs is a Travis Pastrana number plate some bark busters and some Suzuki graphics now. So check this out too. You can get these from Rev Rides. This is a uh, cool case. It goes on the front. You can put phone, water bottle, whatever you want to in there. It looks like it'll hold a lot of stuff in here and, and also be quite sturdy. And also it looks like it's gonna be um, waterproof as well. Sweet. Put that thing tight on there. I think it's cool, man. And it holds all the wires in place too. It kind of serves two two purposes. Sweet. Check it out. You got like a full zipper compartment in here, man. You can put a, a big old Gatorade in here, like a big old Nalgene. It'll fit like a Nalgene water bottle. I guarantee you in there. And it does have a waterproof zipper on it. This thing's nice, dude. Sweet. Rev Rides branded, too. It's cool. Heck yeah. I like that. Because yeah, if you go grocery shopping, you're going to need both hands on the handlebars for your brakes and all that. So you can hang your groceries right there to get home.
blinkers on this side right here. You press these buttons, check this out. And it activates the blinkers down there. The Vicet 10 Plus here is going to be basically your your budget end, your budget friendly high end electric scooter. So this is going to be like the most affordable priced uh, electric scooter that is extremely fast, has great suspension, and has an incredible build quality to it. And this thing really does, guys. This is this thing is absolutely phenomenal. Um, just the um, rigidity on the stem of this thing is amazing. This thing is wicked, dudes. So I've gone through on this thing and adjusted the handlebars on it and gotten everything the way I want it. And everything is just extremely nice on this, guys. I, I mean, the build quality is phenomenal. It is, it is incredible. Like, if you've never seen one of these electric scooters and you get this thing out of the box, bro, it's like, what? Bro, like, this is wild. You got a key fob right here. So you take your key fob and scan it. So a little thing right there unlocks it. You got gears on here. I'll put it up in third gear. Oh my god. That thing goes, dude. That thing about to shoot up. That's crazy. Yeah, it goes. <laughs> it's about to shuffle the rug out. your headlight 